James, who must now see who can open their back door in the shortest time. Why? Well, it could be an emergency. People will want to know. Ready, steady, go! Oh, mine's open! Oh dear, have you got to open your front door before you open yes. that, let's be honest, a flap? It's not a flap. It is a flap. A, a BMW is saying that in the future, children will only be three inches wide. What are you talking about? It's, well, for a start, it's hardly a hardship, and that's an enormous space. You only wanted to do that test because you made a mistake. He made a mistake. I didn't. What, mis did. what mistake? You did. You wanted a three-door golf, and you didn't fill the form in properly. I know that. Yeah, but You can't tick boxes. Five doors are better looking. No, they're not. Nobody ever wanted a five-door golf GTI. We've got to get it's on now. We've really got to, We've got to talk about money. He also wanted a red one. He didn't fill that bit in properly either. This car, with many, many optional extras, was £36,000, whereas James May's BMW i3 was, well, let's find out, shall we? How much was your i3? Well, it's, it was £40,000, but I got £5,000 back from the government. So actually, it's £35,000, which is less than yours, I think. You were given by the government £5,000 of taxpayers' money so you could buy that car. I didn't make the rules. You can't turn it down. It's not like the Beatles' OBE. That is obscene. I mean, James May is a wealthy man, but that bus driver has bought his car for him. Where's the justice in that? You're paying for his car, do you know that? No. You have paid for it. Just so you know, you paid for his car. Has James May thanked you for buying his car for him? Jeremy will have an opinion on this, despite having bought a farm on which, for many years, he was paid to not grow anything. Congestion charge here, it's £11.50 to drive into the centre. Uh, not for me, it isn't. Of course it isn't. Taxi driver here, is he paying for your congestion charge? Uh, I suppose everybody must pay a little bit. James May, James May, stealing from the rich. James May, James May, stealing from the poor. He steals from the rich, he steals from the poor, and once more, wants it all. That's appalling. It nearly works. I'd had enough of this, so I came up with a new way of trying to prove my car was better than his. James, can I just ask, why have you brought me to London Airport? Because I want to prove that my car is faster than yours. <laughs> it's funny, because I just heard you say that your car's faster than mine. Yeah, yeah it is. 167 horsepower. Mm -hmm. Mine has the performance pack, so it produces 227. Does it? Yes. That's the official figure, is it? Yes, it is. From VW? Yes. And you believe them? Yes. All right, listen, I know what you mean. Drag race, naught to 150. No. Having not agreed on that, we then failed to agree on where the finishing line should be. James wanted a short race, and Ollie didn't. Compromise. It isn't. That's too short. It's not. It's exactly it right. But eventually, we were ready to go. Now, the thing to remember, viewers, is that an electric motor delivers enormous torque from nothing, from really low down. So over a short distance, I should absolutely cream this. Here we go. DCC, normal. Steering, normal. Drive. Eco. No point ruining my own car to win this. <laughs> no need to rush. I'm winning. Oh, yes. I'm still winning. Let's go get him. Come on, Golfie. No, no. Quite sprightly, but uh, not sprightly enough, methinks. See you, James. Bah! I've made the future look rubbish on the television. <laughs>